guys, it's Keith Brown, Tack Room Devotional. Let's get right into the Word today. Yesterday we uh, looked at Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2, and it says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. It then goes on to say, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that you might prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. It's you and I submitted to God, first of all, physically, and then mentally. We have to mentally have our minds renewed to the things of God so we understand his purpose in, a, in our life and understand how that kingdom of God works because that's what we're citizens of. It would be like a horse who wants to fight me when I'm trying to train him. He has to be willing to submit himself to me both physically and mentally so that I can move him and show him how to work a cow. I need to have that rib cage break off. I need to be able to pick that shoulder up. I need to be able to bend that nose and have him flex at the pole and do all those things that we need. But he has to be willing to allow me to do that. It's the same thing with us with God. I want to read you something today from Romans chapter 8. And it says this in verse 6. But to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Boy, you guys, that is a cowboy no-brainer. I'm going to read it again. To be carnally minded, in other words, the function according to this world to think in the natural is death. But to be spiritually minded, to be aware of the things of God, to be turned on to uh, God's spirit so that he can speak to us and move us and show us what he wants, is life and peace. It goes on to say in verse 7, Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor intend, uh, indeed can be. In other words, our carnal mind is at war with God. Our carnal mind that functions according to this world fights everything that God wants to do. Well, how is he ever going to be able to use us in his purpose, in his ways, until we submit to him? Start today. Make a decision in your life and say, from this day forward, I will yield myself to God totally, both physically and mentally, so that he can use me in his, his perfect will in this life. That's how we begin to understand how his kingdom works here on earth. Hope you got something out of it today. I'm Keith Brown, and I love you. Jesus loves you. I pray that God would richly bless you as you diligently seek him and serve him.